I'm Lorena Fejo, and I'm a principal dancer with San Francisco Ballet. Since I was a little girl, my mom used to dance uh, for the Cuban National Ballet. Then she became pregnant. My dad was an actor, uh, movies and TV, and um, we were just, after my sister was born, we were so involved in the ballet world that we both wanted to get into school. And um, since I was the older sister, when I started, my sister wanted to follow, and my mom tried absolutely not to let her in the same, you know, uh, the same kind of career. So she tried modern dance and other gymnastics even. And at the end, we both ended up in the, in the classical ballet. You know, this is the first company that I probably stayed longer than four years. The beauty of being here for such a long time is that you get to know, the audience gets to love you, the audience gets to know you. Uh, you get to know the people, you know, uh, deeper that you work with. You know, one of the beauty of this company, or one of the things that I think is the most uh, amazing is that we get to do a lot of different things, different ranges, different colors, and, and that's, that's very fulfilling to a dancer. Giselle, for example, from the classical ballet. Don Quixote, when it was brought the first time to, to, uh, to the city, it was such a tremendous impact and such a wonderful ballet, humorous and happy to do. I have a special relationship with uh, Yuri Posakov and Val Caniparoli, and um, with both, and uh, I just feel like every time I work with them, I, I grow. Um, Yuri, for example, is a person that I admire tremendously because I also dance with him. So there was that partnership. Um, I, I was very fortunate to catch a lot of his last years. And um, he's also as passionate as, as I am. In any creation that you are, anything that is created on you, it's so great because you can bring your own take or your own interpretation to it. So anything that is like that is very special. Talk about Raku, for example, with new score, new steps. Just being there when it's just being built, like a brand new building. But so many, working with Foresight, working with Renato Zanella was wonderful. I think everybody, Nacho Duarte, I remember uh, without words. Dancing with Vitor has been uh, amazing, wonderful. Just meeting him as, as a person, just finding that someone, you know, like when you hear about soulmates and stuff like that, you wonder often while you go through your life and you meet people and they come and go, does that really exist, you know? And it does. Getting to, to share, like Giselle, for example, I felt like once you do these things, you know, this full length, you fall into this hold a little bit because the experience has been so rounded and so amazing that um, you want it to be again. You want it to repeat it so many times. Uh, it was on Valentine's Day, which I tend to think is such a commercial, you know, celebration, although I celebrate it because it's the day of love or whatever. I was in pajamas, almost ready to go to bed, and he said that he couldn't wait. I, I waited for eight months and then finally I found the ring and I so wanted to, you know, to, to do it. So. He was very cute, he went on his knees and he proposed and he made me cry, of course. I hated seeing him in his knees, so I went to the knees too. I recognize and acknowledge that not a lot of people that are couples in life get to have this wonderful opportunity and, and besides myself, it's, uh, it's really a treat. I feel that as a Cuban or just in general, Latin people are very passionate. Somehow it's part of your culture since you're little. You feel everything uh, in bigger dimensions, sadness, joy. And um, I think we're very connected with music, very connected. Our ancestors are either Spanish, half Spanish, half African. And both of the cultures have a lot of dancing and music in it. And I think that's, that's why we bring our roots to, to what we do, to classical ballet or whatever form of dance we are doing.